Taurus, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Taurus, please and thank you. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. Messages for a sign of Taurus. So we have someone that's interested in you and they want things to move to the next level. Evolving growth, next phase. So someone wants to date you. Someone wants it to be known. So your challenge is seduction because you'll be getting a call or a message from this person. They're expressing their love. Why is seduction here? Uh, be mindful not to play games with this person, meaning... When y'all are around this person, don't be sitting up here talking about this person interested in you, this person, past relationships. Get to know the person that you're actually on a date with or you're spending time with. Don't sit up here, play with fire, you're going to get burned. So don't sit up here and tease this person, make them feel doubtful uh, whether you're interested in them. Don't play games with them. Because this person is being honest. They're expressing their love to you. It's a lot of like, it's true. Like they're being honest. They're being open and honest about the way they feel about you. So don't sit up here and play games with them. Like, it's, that's, that's what you're just being mindful or being guided to be mindful of. Not to play games with them. Not to intentionally try to make them jealous because you'll end up upsetting yourself. old school, outdated thinking, condi conditioning, separation, sadness, bitterness, thinking about you. So some of y'all do, it, it's like there is some sort of pattern here that you have a tendency to repeat that, and that's the reason why, whether it's the same energies you're attracting or it's something that you're actually doing with seduction popping up here, I got to be honest. For some of y'all, it's something that you are doing. You have a tendency, it's like when someone comes around, it's this insecurity that kicks in within you. And you tend to say things that could potentially fuck up a good connection. And not that you guys have attracted the perfect person in the past, because you could have very well dealt with some narcissistic type of people that led you to put on this type of front. But don't do it with this person. You know, abundance been wanting to, y'all got a power couple, okay? It's definitely someone interested in you. And this, y'all are going to attract a lot of wealth together. You guys could build some sort of legacy company empire together. But it's like, there's a soul connection. This is, this has the potential to last, okay? And you guys attract a lot of abundance with each other on top of it. Someone likes to wear floral uh, scent, like, and I mean, strong, like, floral scent. I'm trying to get, like, it It definitely is strong rose coming through, but someone definitely likes to wear floral scents to the max. Like, y'all, I love floral scents, too, but I just got a whiff of, like, it, it was, like, rose. I'm getting roses specifically. Some of y'all could have, like, a rose body spray, but someone loves, like, floral scents. Like, that's just... You don't, you ain't with the sweet stuff. You want the floral stuff. And I'm right with you. <laughs> I love floral. That's why I love fresh flowers. Yes. Okay. So y'all not interested in talking to anyone, talking back to anyone from the past. Okay. Y'all are over it. 
Yeah, because you feel like you've received all the clarity that you need. You feel like you gave this connection. You're all only to be deceived, so be let down. You guys are ready to have that type of connection. You want someone you can just like pour your heart out to. You're tired of playing these type of games. So don't play them games when that connection comes in for you. You're done with the past. You've outgrown it. Now, here comes something beautiful. We got the golden mirror and we have twin flames. Why is the golden mirror here? Please and thank you. Karmic relationship. Engagement ring. So it's a karmic, y'all going to have options. It's going to be two options in particular. Okay. Now, I'm not sure, though, if this karmic relationship is someone that you already know. I, that's the energy that I'm getting. But I'm not for sure. All I know, all I know. You're going to need to do some self-reflection. Go within. Because the time is coming, Taurus, where you will attract two people towards you. One of those people will be karmic, a narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed. It will be a one-sided relationship. They're going to stress your ass out. Then... You have a sweet, kind-hearted, gentle person coming towards you that will go towards a higher commitment. This is someone who's going to love your ass, okay? Y'all may be polar opposites. I was drawn to that. And I'm going to tell you what. Here's the thing. Here's the kicker, Taurus. Y'all going to be like, oh, of course I'm going for a twin flame. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. The only reason why it's coming through is because they're telling you you're going to love the thrill you get from this karmic person. You are. Yeah, you want to say you healed and you're going to make the right choice when these options come along. You're going to know. You're going to know what's the right choice for you to make. But boy, is it going to be hard for you to make it. I don't care what y'all say because y'all stubborn as hell. When that time comes, just know you heard it here first. You're going to sit up here and this karmic person, they're going to turn your ass on. They are going to have you hot and steamy. You're going to want they ass. Now, this twin flame, they're cute, adorable. You love it. But boy, this karmic, you want you gonna want it. You ain't thinking about it with you, you'll be attracted to this twin flame, but the that thrill you get from this karmic, that's gonna be your issue. That's going to be your issue. And you're gonna know damn well this ain't your twin flame. You're gonna know that ain't them. But man, you gonna want it so bad. You want to wish that this was the person you were meant to be with. And it's not that you don't like the twin flame. You like this person. But y'all are complete opposite. I'm getting like, whoever I'm talking to, the tourists that I'm talking to, y'all wild. Y'all are wild. And you want someone that matches that energy. You want someone that's going to thrill the hell out of your ass. And you get that from this person. They good looking, charming devilish here devilishly charming you love it it's like as much as you don't want to you want to love it you don't love it it's going to turn you on i'm not playing listen to me because y'all gonna sit up here and you're gonna think honey y'all gonna have two mates and this is going to be your test and you ain't gonna have nobody but yourself to blame when this comes in and if you choose this karmic again after you've been guided to break free of this outdated thinking, okay? It's 
that's why you need to do some self-reflection here because boy when this time comes if it hasn't already but i'm getting that it hasn't you got a major decision and in the middle of it is self-reflection taking a long hard look in the mirror inner wounds introspection all right let's see what else is coming through honey this is i'm tell you what you will fall completely in love with this twin flame energy is so made coming through this person truly touches your heart you'll and you're gonna know not to mess with this karmic but it's still it's gonna you're gonna feel like triggered to do so it's I'm telling it's not going to be easy. You may think, okay, it's easy. To no, it's not. No, it's not. Bad boy, bad girl, y'all gonna want it. But the person that you're meant to be with, they're gonna touch your heart on such a level that it's gonna be nearly impossible for you to break this person's heart. And you'll realize you made the right decision when it came to this person. Because you know that this karmic relationship isn't going to do anything but give you a headache. But I'm going to tell you what. Yeah. So building a friendship, ending things. You are, you are set, dead set on not making the same mistake that you made in the past. But this person, they definitely, they want to take it easy. And some of y'all, that may be like your issue too, is you like, okay, you want to get things moving. But this person is definitely taking their time to get to know you. They are serious about you. This person, they off the chain, but y'all going to love it. <laughs> y'all are. I, I'm not even, you going to love it. But it's going to, it'll, it'll quickly turn on. As soon as you commit yourself to this person, they feel like they got you exactly where they want you. They going to, mm, you gonna be mad. Okay, so you're being guided to take a chance, take a risk here. I'm of course not with the karmic here. You don't have to lay it all out on the table because I'm definitely getting it's a new phase that's taking place in your life. But definitely allow yourself to be open to the right type of connection here. Because some of y'all could feel the need to like completely close yourself off because you don't want to fall victim to this type of relationship again. And some of y'all are well aware that you have that energy within yourself to fall victim to it again. So you're like, fuck it, I'll just stay single. But that's not what you're meant to do. You're meant to be in a relationship and you have a beautiful relationship that's coming in for you. So go for it. tell you what so i just literally so some of y'all need to be in to meditate on this thing i literally just got this um uh, this just literally came through for me i know great things are taking place for me right now i know that great things are coming towards me right now i know that great things are happening for me right now some of y'all need to meditate on that Are you ready for your blessing? Are you ready for a miracle? So some of y'all could be feeling like down and out, feeling like nothing is working out for you, nothing is taking place, and that is that is the farthest from the truth. I mean, everyone is going through it in general, but it's up to us to really break this toxic cycle of the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. As the masses, we have the power to change all of it. 
but it's up to us to realize the power that we possess to do just that. Um, and the crazy thing is like look and it's like really when you look at history and the challenges that each generation had to overcome it's like our challenge in our generation will we overcome it will we make way for the next generation will they look back and be proud of the fights that we fought will they be proud of the decisions that we made and I don't know why I'm being guided to even get this deep, but it is for someone, okay? Now let's see what other messages are coming through. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please and thank you. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell y'all what, if that's still communication. Some Someone been thinking about getting freaky with you. I'm not getting that y'all have an intimate with this person. I'm really getting someone is, yeah. Someone is focused on you. You will be receiving communication from this person. And I'm seeing that this person will be taking things slow. But you don't know. They've been having some wet dreams. They've been really thinking about what it's like to be up in it or to be up on it. Um, yes. Yes, indeed. They want it. When they think about you, they get really hot and steamy. They want it real bad. Some of y'all, this is someone that you are currently texting and messaging, talking to back and forth. You guys could have met someone online. Y'all could be having phone sex. But it's definitely someone like, it's starting off as a friendship. I'm not getting that y'all are jumping into bed, but if this is someone that you already are talking to like that, the right person is going to take things slow. I'll just say that. You guys will know the right person for you to choose, but you will have a major decision to make coming up shortly. So be mindful of that. Focus on your healing so you make the right decision this time. But with that being said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. I am open for personal readings. You can check out my description box. But with that being said, you all take care. Many blessings to you all.